We are now joined by Kathy Cruz Marrero and her attorney, James Poliak. Thank you so much for getting up early this morning. And Kathy, let me say uh, right at the start, uh, I get it. Uh, when I first saw this video, I, I said, this could be me. I sometimes get lost in the text as well. But can, can you just take us back to that well, moment? Know, what happened? What were you thinking? And when did you realize that he in, had a terrible fall? Play it back, play it back. Yeah. I realized when I was falling when I was in the water already. <laughs> Um, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't have anything to grab onto and uh, hold my balance. Um, I was actually texting a friend of mine from my church. What was so important about um, this text? She was just asking me for my birth date and my husband's birth date. And I don't know what got into my head. And I just said, let me text her back quickly. Quickly was that... I was in a fountain. So, you know, from the, from the video, you looked actually pretty composed for someone who just fell into the fountain in the middle of a mall. You picked yourself up, you got out. What happened next? Um, well, I, I was more uh, probably dumbfounded. Um, I, I was totally embarrassed. I was like, well, I'm hoping nobody saw me, so let me just walk away. Um, a kind lady of a store there, a manager at the mall, um, was kind enough. I walked up to her and all I kept saying was, I fell, I fell in the fountain, I fell in the fountain. And um, she came, uh, she, she said she wanted to hug me, but I was so drenched, she didn't dare. But you didn't hear anything from mall security, correct? Nothing at all. Um, to my knowledge, they, got there 20 minutes after I left. When did you first learn this had gone viral all around the world? I got a phone call Friday morning from my nephew, and he's like, do you know you're on YouTube? That's actually two days and after the fall, right? Uh, yeah, but I did call Mall Security uh, Thursday, the next morning. I called them and I let them know that I'm a mall employee. I said, I do not want to say the store where I work or my name because I'm really, really embarrassed. I didn't get a, an apology over the phone either. Um, I said, I don't think that was nice what your people did. And he's like, no, it's not, that wasn't very nice at all, but um, you know, uh, we'll try to take drastic measures and um, just be lucky that nobody knows you. Be glad that nobody knows you. But meanwhile, that the whole world was watching me. this on YouTube on, and television stations, Absolutely, our show. and having a great laugh on my account. You know, um, I admit it was funny, but nobody took my feelings into consideration. I'm sorry, uh, nobody. Um, nobody called, uh, are you okay? Um, it shows in the video, nobody went to my aid. Not one single person went to my aid. It could have been anybody's mother. Um, it could have been a senior citizen falling you know, and, and would they have gotten the same treatment as I did? So, James, what kind of claims do you plan to pursue against the mall operators now? Well, we're at the very early stages of our investigation into this matter, George, uh, but certainly we intend to hold all responsible parties accountable, uh, whether that means requesting or demanding an apology, uh, certainly requesting an explanation for why this happened, how it happened, and certainly we want to know the identity of all persons responsible with making the video public. How did it get out? And posting it on YouTube. Well, it's unclear, but uh, we suspect that uh, an official within the security office at the mall uh, viewed the footage and allowed the uh, footage to be videotaped onto a cell phone. And it was that cell phone video that ended up being posted on YouTube. And Kathy, I know you, as embarrassed as you are from all this, you, you did learn a big lesson, huh? Absolutely, absolutely, George. Um, do not text and walk, um, especially to the younger generation. Um, it couldn't, it, 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 the fountain could have been empty. Um, I could have been in the hospital. Uh, I could have walked into a bus you know, hit, got hit by a car, it can happen anywhere, anywhere. 
Well, thank you for being such a good yes. sport and for sharing what you learned uh, this morning. Good luck with everything. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much, George. Thank you for having us. We want to know what you think about all this. You can weigh in on our shout-out board at abcnews.com slash GMA.